is Jordan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have three Mediterranean diet inspired breakfast ideas and recipes for you. If you enjoy it, make sure you check out the description box for more information and the complete recipes. We're gonna keep this short and sweet so we can get to the food. First recipe is for savory lemony steel cut oats. So I'm starting with about a cup of water and you're just gonna follow the directions on the package of your oats. I'm using steel cut oats, but you can use rolled oats. You're gonna add a generous pinch of salt because remember these are savory oats and the salt brings out the flavor. And then I'm adding a little bit of dried thyme. Thyme and lemon go so well together. If you have fresh thyme, feel free to use that. So we're going to get that water boiling. So I brought it over to the stove and put it on high just until it was at a light simmer. Here are the steel cut oats I'm using. These are sprouted steel cut oats. You can just use regular oats, but I thought these were fun and I wanted to give them a try. Once your water is simmering, go ahead and add your oats. I like to use a third of a cup to a half of a cup of oats for one serving, just depending on how hungry I am. Give them a little bit of a stir and then you're gonna cover them and put them back on the stove on low heat for 20 to 25 minutes or until most of the water has absorbed and they look something like this. Now you're going to add your toppings to your oats and these are so super simple. First up, we need the lemon in this lemony oatmeal dish. So you're gonna add the zest from one lemon and some herbs. I had arugula today, but I've done parsley before, I've done fresh thyme, whatever you have on hand. I love just to add some type of green herb to the oats. It's kind of like a rice peel off, but you're using oats. Then you're gonna add your extra virgin olive oil right on top. I like to add probably a teaspoon, so I added a teaspoon and stirred that in, and then another teaspoon to drizzle on top. Option is a super simple yogurt parfait. I'm using a plant-based yogurt, but in the Mediterranean, they traditionally use a full fat dairy yogurt. So just get your favorite kind of yogurt. I recommend one that's unsweetened. I use your favorite sweetener as a drizzle. I'm using molasses and I'm topping it with some walnuts. So go ahead and put your yogurt in a bowl and then add your drizzle of sweetener. I love molasses because it has tons of nutrients in it. It's actually really high in iron and then I add my walnuts walnuts are an amazing source of healthy fat a little bit of protein and omega-3 fatty acids and because I had them on hand I went ahead and added some green pumpkin seeds as well just for the color love a good loaf of bread in the Mediterranean. So I'm using my favorite, which is Ezekiel bread. Just find a homemade bread, a local bread, or a bread with really good ingredients at your store. And I'm topping the first one with tahini, which is a sesame seed paste. Sesame seeds, great in healthy fats, and actually have a really good amount of calcium in them, a great source of plant-based calcium. I added another drizzle of molasses, but you could use maple syrup or honey. I like topping tahini toast with toasted nuts or seeds, like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, or toasted pine nuts. Those are delicious. You could also top with some berries. I think this would be a great toast to add, like some wild blueberries or raspberries too. On our second toast, we are doing a spin on the avocado toast. Now to make this more Mediterranean, we're gonna use some different toppings. And I just mashed up an avocado, but then I added a dollop of that yogurt. So again, an unsweetened full fat yogurt. And then I added an herbal salt. This salt has garlic and some white pepper in it, as well as some Italian herbs, and it tastes amazing on avocado toast. I added another drizzle of olive oil. If you're following the Mediterranean diet, guys, you gotta learn to love olive oil, I'm telling you. As well as lemon juice. I add lemon juice to almost everything these days, so add a squeeze of lemon juice from one lemon wedge. had to taste test it and make sure it was delicious for you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe video with three healthy Mediterranean diet breakfasts that I absolutely love. Again, make sure you check out the description box for more information. If you liked this video with recipe inspiration, you may also like my weekly wellness newsletter that I send out. I always send out some recipe inspiration as well as some quick and easy wellness tips. Link to sign up for that will be below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload once a week. And like this video if you wanna see more recipe videos or Mediterranean diet inspired videos. Leave your comments, questions, and tell me your favorite recipe from this video down below in the comments. I will see you next week for another one. Bye.